Hello everyone, welcome to part 92 of Laravel 9 series in which we are getting the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So we will continue working on the product detail page and in this video we are going to display the vendor shop name. If the vendor adds the product then we are going to show the vendor details as well, vendor shop name and uh, first of all we are going to define the relation between the product and the vendor okay after that we are going to show the vendor shop name so let's start uh, so uh, see there are many products that we have added so far but we need to find the products that the vendor adds okay some of the products added by the ad admin and some of the products added by the vendor so we will only show the vendor shop name uh, when the product added by the vendor okay so first of all we are going to identify uh, that which product is added by the vendor here you can see the vendor underscore id column in products table and the uh, the uh, see you can see the zero in most of the rows so zero means the product has been added by the admin but if the vendor underscore id is having some value so it means the that is the vendor id okay so this is the vendor id 9 you can see the nine vendor id has been added to row number eight okay product id eight so it means this product is added by the vendor so we can open this product we can open this eighth product you can see the product id is eight so we can simply open the eighth product like this one like this is the two product we can simply mention here eight so this is the product that is added by the vendor so here we are going to mention sold by uh, that vendor name what vendor shop name whatever it is okay so i'm going to show you that which product it is it must display it here also so this is the product that is added by the vendor so here we are going to show the uh, sold by okay uh, i'm going to show uh, like in amazon and we are going to follow the same thing like if i am going to open any of the product of amazon you can see here uh sold by here you can see the sold by okay and along with link this is the shop name and if you will click this shop you can see the products as well like if i'm going to see you can see the ratings and all okay we can directly show the products as well if we will click these are all the vendor products you can see only the products has been displayed without any filters you can't see any filters here at the left side bar okay uh, just some brands are coming and nothing else no filter so we will also not display any kind of filters uh, in the vendor products that we are going to work in the uh, next video but for the, in this video we are going to display the vendor shop name if the product has been added by the vendor okay so first of all we are going to create the relation uh, so relation we are going to create in the product model so i'm going to open the product model so we need to define the relation between the uh, product and the vendor so uh, like uh, i have shown you that some of the product added by the vendor so the relation is the belongs to product belongs to the vendor okay so that belongs to relation so i'm also going to open the products controller here uh, at the front uh, so that we can uh, debug here like this one so right now see we don't have any uh, we don't have any vendor details with the product you can see we have the section details category details like product section details product category details product brand details product attributes product images but we don't have the vendor details here we can see the vendor id but we don't have its details okay its details are missing okay so uh, we are going to define the relation uh, between the vendor and the product and one more page i'm going to open one more page here that will help us at one side we are going to uh, show the details that is the output and on the other side i'm going to display the product okay uh, so what i can do i am going to add the relation in this one okay in the product model uh, so uh, yeah after section category brand attributes image i'm going to find the another relation here public function and the relation name we are going to keep the vendor okay simple enough so same thing return dollar this belongs to relation we are going to define belongs to and here we're going to do like this app models and after that vendor okay and after that we're going to give the vendor id okay 
so here see we have defined the relation between the product and the vendor so one product maybe belongs to the vendor okay so belongs to relation and uh, you can see the vendor id in the products you can see the vendor id so this uh, is the uh, foreign key for us okay vendor id uh, we are going to compare this vendor id with the id in the vendors table okay you can see the id in the vendors table is equal to the vendor id of the products table okay so that's why see this vendor id uh, is 9 in this case so it means uh, we are uh, going to pick this one this 9 amit gupta okay so first of all we are going to display the vendor name after that we will uh, display the shop name as well okay so first of all we are going to display the vendor name okay so this uh, relation we are going to attach with uh, here uh, i'm going to attach here anywhere where i want okay i'm going to attach it here relation or i can simply attach it afterwards after images like this okay vendor so i'm going to uh, now going to check once again i'm going to display so that the vendor details is coming or not so you can see the vendor details are coming in this product okay along with the product we are getting the vendor details as well so first of all we are going to display the name of the vendor that is quite easy uh, so we are going to display the name of the vendor in detail blade file but first of all we are going to add the condition as well uh, like uh, uh, if the product has been added by the admin then we are not going to add and also after uh, available size here we are going to display okay uh, so available size okay so uh, we are going to display it here or we can also define it here as well div okay so first of all uh, we are going to add the condition here uh, okay like uh, is set condition we are going to display dollar product details so if the vendor array is there only then we are going to display this otherwise we will not display this okay we will add this one before the here like this okay if here to add it sold by this vendor okay fine uh, so we are going to oh no fine vendor name we forgot to add the name see here vendor name first of all we are going to display the name after that uh, we will also display okay i need to comment this one now we are going to check here you can see this sold by amit gupta is coming okay so the vendor name is coming here you can see sold by amit gupta uh, here in this product detail page so if i will open any other product detail page uh, that is added uh, any of the product that is added by the enemy not by the vendor then this will not come at all you can see it is not displaying here because this product is added by the admin not by the vendor so in the case of the vendor only we are going to display the vendor name sold by amit gupta so now see we are not going to display the vendor name uh, we are going to uh, display the vendor shop name okay so uh, so that looks more professional like the amazon do so for displaying the shop name you can see it's not in the vendors table so it's in the vendor business table business details table we can see the shop name is there so there is another relation we need to make here relation between the vendor and vendor business details okay so that is the best way to do this thing uh, that will 
uh, keep the website fast also it will not slow down the website because uh, we are getting all the details at one place okay we are not calling the function again and again we are getting all the details uh, in function only and we are getting uh, everything at one place okay so uh, now see uh, another relation that is the relation between the vendor and vendor business details so uh, vendor belongs to relation we are going to define okay uh, so that relation we are going to uh, add in vendor.php file okay so let's open the vendor.php file where we are going to define this new relation between the vendor and vendor business details public function vendor business details see relation function we must uh, give like this okay otherwise uh, it will uh, create issue it may create issue relation function uh, in small letters only without uh, any upper cases dollar this then belongs to okay so here we are going to add app models uh, that vendors business detail vendor business detail okay so its uh, model name okay uh, we can open its model name to check its spelling vendors business detail this is the model name so exactly we need to copy here okay so now we need to define the relation we need to match two columns here okay so first column will come in the first table and second column will come so here two columns will come this one and second okay in first one we are go going to match the first one that is located at the first table going to match with the second one uh, that is equal to this one in the second table okay so the first one is the vendors table in which we are going to compare the id with the with the vendor id in the vendor business details okay so it will make this relation like this relations always work like this okay we are going to match the id of the vendor with the vendor id of the uh, vendor business details so this is the primary key for this table and foreign key is the vendor underscore id okay so now uh, what we are going to do uh, we are going to attach this one with the vendor here we are going to attach this relation with this one so that we can get the further vendor details now we are going to check here so we must get the further details business details also along with the vendor details one more business details also we need to fetch so let's refresh it and check the vendor array and vendor array must have the vendor bin details array you can see the vendor bin details array is also fast here along with the vendor array we also got the vendor bin details array so that we can easily get the shop name from the vendor bin details okay so you can also use the select here to get the specific data uh, from both relation that you can also do that is simple enough you just require to add the select here that which data uh, you want you will just get that data only okay uh, so i'm just telling you that you can do at your end so now uh, we are going to display uh, the vendor uh, we are going to display the shop name so it will come under vendor bin details then vendor shop name okay so we will modify now uh, vendor uh, then vendor shop details uh, and after that shop name shop name so now we are going to check here i'm going to refresh this one then vendor shop name must come what is the vendor shop name here we can see it's the stack developers this is the vendor id so it is the stack developers so we are going to check here uh, refresh we are going to refresh and we'll see see the stack developers is coming sold by stack developers so we are showing the vendor shop name now okay so uh, now i think this one you can do at your end and now in the next video we are going to click on this shop and we'll display all the products of stack developer shop all these uh, all the products of vendor shop like i have shown you in amazon website
so now we are going to show all the vendor products at one place without filters okay so that uh, if uh, the customer want to see the vendor products and want to purchase from them then he can able to assess his page okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video okay so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye